Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian from Super Comic Guru 9000, and I'm here to review One Piece episode 550. Well, I have to say I was pretty excited coming into this because I missed last week's episode, at least the review. I ended up watching it. I was kind of pumped for like Luffy and Jinbei's fight, and then it was like a one-hit wonder, and then they get back to it a little bit in this episode, but they just end up yelling at each other, and they're both trying to help their people, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of this dumb fight that we know is really going to happen in the sense that they're not going to end up hurting each other. I, I don't think so, anyway. So this episode was pretty much about Hody Jones's men, or his admirals, or whatever you want to call them, generals, to his new fishman pirates, and them gaining abilities through the steroids that they're taking. Getting ripped! <laughs> So yeah, you have a, one of them who got caught by some of Neptune's army. He is just like sitting there, you know, defeated. And then one of his men tosses him a uh, energy steroid and he just like bulks up and breaks all the chains. Uh, and then we have the other guy who's, uh, I, I don't know, I want to call him the Groundhog Guy. Well, I know his real name, but it's hard to pronounce. So I like calling him the Groundhog Guy. And he ends up going to destroy the candy factory because we all know if you want to do a terrorist act, you need to destroy the nation's candy. I have to say one of the coolest parts besides Hody Jones' big transformation at the end of the episode has to be the general that's all drunk. I don't know what happens there. Uh, it, I guess this is kind of a playoff drunk in boxing. You see that a lot. One of my all-time favorite Jackie Chan films is his original drunk, drunken boxing films. Really go check those out. Uh, the actual title escapes me right now, but he's a drunken master, and it has some of the best fight co choreography I've ever seen in any martial arts movie uh, the, even today, it was Jackie Chan pioneered martial arts, and that was one of his first big hits as the Drunken Master. So uh, I think that's what they're playing off of with this whole drunken guy that's a good sword fighter. And so he gets super drunk, and all Hody Jones's men are like, "Hey, dude, come on, we gotta get serious." And he's like slipping around. They're like trying to grab him, and he's like, "They're like he's as slippery as a sea cucumber." And uh, then he gets his hands on some of the swords and just starts messing up people because he's, uh, you know, everyone becomes great at something when they're drunk, right? That's just like real life. Psh. I wonder, who is he going to fight when the Straw Hat crew comes into town? Probably not Sanji. The biggest part of this episode was obviously Hody Jones uh, changing or his transformation. He was pretty tore up because he got completely messed up by Zoro's sword. And he's starting to feel the pain even after he took those energy steroids. So what does he do? If something's hurting your body, you take more of it. That makes sense, right? I don't know. So he grabs a handful of this stuff, and then ends up transforming. Now this transformation is not just the looks, obviously, whenever an anime character transforms into his new, more powerful form, he uh, has some brand new powers or some increased ability in his current powers. And this is, you know, no different. Uh, Hody Jones does one of his water shots at some of Neptune's men, and it just, it has like, he shoots one water dot, or one water shot, and for some reason, it destroys like eight buildings and has ten explosions. I don't know, it's like all of a sudden Michael Bay got involved. <gasps> How does water explode? I don't get it. I just review it. Again, uh, I think this is truly just setting up everything for what we're about to see, which is uh, the, the Straw Hat Pirates and Jimbei moving towards, uh, you know, the plaza where Hody Jones's pirates are, and them start facing off. Uh, this is kind of an establishing episode for them to say, look at these guys, they're actually powerful, they're going to be a challenge for the Straw Hat Pirates. Uh, I, I know there's a really big battle coming up, and I'm sure if you read the manga, you're as excited about it as I am. But I think we're going to have to wait a few more episodes. Hopefully this Jembe and One Piece thing comes to a close soon because I'd like to see that get resolved and them go over there and deal with the Fishman Pirates. And, we're, you know, uh, something I want to talk about is people were kind of mad at Luffy for falling asleep for Jembe's flashback story of Fisher Tiger and Fishman Island and Fishman Rights. And uh, I think this is really playing off the fact that Luffy doesn't care about people's history. And that was really reinforced in this episode because he's like, I don't give a damn about Fishman history. All I care about is that my friends are in trouble, so therefore I will go help them. And that's just the way Luffy is. Some people call him dumb or stupid or dense or whatever the wording you'd like to use. But he's just the guy that walks up to people and sees what they're about. So uh, everyone that was mad at Luffy for that... Uh, I understand where you're coming from. I just don't see it as a problem for his character. I mean, Luffy is a, 
Uh, if you want to check out our actually our first One Piece manga episode review, we did that uh, last Wednesday. Check that out. The title was Luffy is Just Smart Enough. And it makes sense because Luffy, he's just smart enough to maybe become Pirate King. But if it wasn't for the help of all of his crewmates, he probably wouldn't make it very far on his own. And that's really where the magic of One Piece comes in because you technically have like seven or eight main characters in this. The whole Straw Hat Pirates and just all of them right there. So everyone, this was my review of One Piece Chapter 550. If you like the review, make sure and give it a big thumbs up. It always is appreciated. It helps get our videos all throughout YouTube and hopefully get us a few more views and a few more people checking out our stuff and talking about One Piece with us. So until next time, you guys, Super Comic Guru 9000, out.